should vote for the DSF um, board seat as well. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take your your adamant proposal to get out there and vote uh, as a as a good topic change because the DSF is actually uh, they're they're having their their board candidates now. Um, I'm not sure when the time to actually go vote on this is john do you know by any chance uh i do not i you know i saw that the uh so when the django software foundation posted uh the the list of candidates um i i didn't see specific timelines uh mm -hmm. which is uh maybe something that i just missed uh or or uh or it's you know posted to right a uh, a place that's not quite as public as the blog post, but um, uh, sooner is better than later. Yeah, that. <laughs> definitely. Um, so yeah, like one thing that I wanted to talk about, obviously we're talking about like, there is the board that's, you know, there are a lot of people running. And I think that this is great. Uh, like four people are stepping down and there are, so many positions open <laughs> or so many people running there's almost 20 people running uh they're being represented they're representing like i think 10 countries if i counted correctly um one covering i think every major continent um north america south america australia asia uh this is in my opinion just a showcase of how diverse this small piece of the community is and I, I think that's amazing and we kind of hinted at this I wanted to talk more about the diversity geographically of these these board positions because we saw this even with the PSF last year um, there was like how many people how many people ran for the PSF I I mean I I believe it was like almost as many people that are running for this um I want to say it was somewhere on the order of like 23 25 yeah so um, like and there were what four seats or three seats available <laughs> like I think, I think there were four available for for the Python Software Foundation board there um yeah. and and yeah I mean it was a uh, and, and a ton of great candidates uh, who, uh, you know, I, I know many of by name and, uh, you know, at least a couple personally. Uh, and, and, you know, th these are all people who are already doing uh, really great work within the Python community. And I think, um, you know, you, you'll, you'll see a lot of a lot of that mirrored here with the, the DSF board, too. Yeah, and I, this is interesting for me because I'm I'm still relatively new to the Django community. Um, you know, I attended my first DjangoCon this year. Uh, I spoke there, and that was that was a great experience. But I, you know, the nice thing about that is I got to meet a lot of the people that are on this list, uh, which tells me like a couple of good things. One, it tells me that the people that are actually running, like are in the community like they are they are a part of the community and if if we looked at some of the the actual pieces um everyone here you know made a statement of, about you know why they they thought that they would best serve uh on this board but what what interests me the what interested me the most about this was that django in itself django is the second most popular web framework according to the psf survey it is massive the community is is amazing the the organization you know defna the, the django events you know foundation of north america does a lot to not only drive the the django community but the greater python community a lot of the stuff that they do winds up getting adopted into you know other organizations other areas of the community it's it's so heartwarming to see a, a group and a segment of python 
that is so passionate and does want to see the community like continue to be driven forward. Uh, I, I, I do want to, since you brought up Defna, I want to uh, make sure that all the listeners know um, that the Django Software Foundation and the Django Events Foundation of North America, well, um, you know, definitely related uh, in, in, in the sense that they both uh, work on Django things. Um, what these uh, board nominations are for is the Django Software Foundation. Right, um, right, right. And, and the, uh, uh, the DEFNA board, um, I want to say has a has a schedule that's a um, couple of months offset from from the Django Software Foundation board. So uh, uh, if if you are interested in right, um, uh, I, I can't find a blog post for it at the moment, so maybe it's not up yet. But if you're interested more on the event side of things, um, I, I, I think keep an eye out for for news about uh, Defna coming out, uh, you know, in, in the coming months. Um, but if, if you're interested in the, um, the, the technical aspects and the, uh, 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 the foundation aspects of, um, you know, what it takes to keep a project like Django, uh, you know, both up and running and, and, uh, you know, evolving to to suit its community best. Um, the 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 DSF board is really um, very much the 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 place you can make your voice heard when when voting. Yeah, and I mean, we we talked about this a little bit um, earlier. You know, in in another show, where like you know, they do the survey, like, and the survey is what helps drive some of the changes in the Django like community. Uh, the, these are the people that, <laughs> that make that change happen. Um, the, these are the people that like take that survey and go, oh, we can go and do things with the, you know, su such and such wants this to happen. How do we go about making that happen? Okay, well, I'm the I'm the treasurer. So it's my job to make sure that the financials are in order for that to, to happen. Or I'm, you know, you know, one of the engineers or, you know, I'm, I'm the president. So let's, let's talk about how we can reach out there. Like it, these are, these are the people that you're selecting. You're selecting the decision makers that are going to take that information and, and do something with it. And I mean, again, like it, I feel great because like I'm seeing names of people that I just got to meet. So like, I'm happy because I'm like, oh yeah, if that person won, like I know that they would be responsible. But I, I also want to highlight again, there's there's that geographic diversity as well. Um, I think that this is a topic that uh, maybe some folks from the PSF have, have heard me talk about before where when we talk about the the concerns of the Python community, there are kind of two. Uh, one is where is the funding coming from? Um, and you know, I I work for a, a public company. I mean, I work for Microsoft. Microsoft is a visionary sponsor of the PSF and things like that, which means that they donate a lot of money. Um, but there are also people that work at Microsoft that are a part of putting Python together, not, not just as a core developer side, but also from a, like the PSF side, the, the organizational side as well. Um, same for Google, same for, well, I think Meta still, um, a lot of people are not excited when you have representatives from, you know, not only just the, the five largest companies in the world, but also like the five largest companies in the world isolated or like, you know, congregated in like these two states in the United States. And a lot of the decisions are then affected by what's happening in those areas. Uh, so all that to say, like, 
I'm not only excited by the number of people that are running, but I'm, I'm excited that we have people representing Africa. We have people representing South America, people that are representing Europe and, and, and Southeast Asia and in, you know, Australia, like by having a more diverse board, then what you're also doing is you're not allowing the, the concerns, the issues only come from one point of view. And to me, that's, that's why I'm excited, not only about this, but you know, the PSF, well, I think that there's still a lot of work to do. The one thing that we saw was there was a larger spread of people running. And I think that we have to do the thing that I, I, or I guess not do the thing that I did immediately, which was look for the names of people that I recognized, but also read the statements and understand why people are running and what they hope to, to bring. And also think about the perspectives that they bring from wherever in the world they're coming from. Yeah. So I think, Jay, if you expand um, any one of these uh, with the arrow there, um, just, just to be, you know, kind of prescriptive here, um, you know, if you're eligible to vote in this election, right, step one is going and expanding every one of those arrows and, and reading the board statements here, right? Because uh, like you said, it's just voting for, right, the name you recognize is 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 not necessarily going to uh, result in in what is the best uh, for for the community as a whole, right? There there are people uh, right. Every, everybody here put put time and effort into uh, into sharing right why they want to run run for the board, why they want to support the community in this way, um, and right. I know right. It's not it's not as fast as just like going and checking a few boxes because you recognize people's names. But uh, again, it's not a lot of effort to to sit down and read through these statements um, and, and really understand right why you're voting for the people you're voting for. I, w I would almost encourage you, like, find the names of people that you don't know, read their statements. Then, like, if they're on social media and you can find them on social media, then, like, understand like their impact understand what they've been doing how they've been engaging in their community uh that's i mean that's one of the things that i i struggle with the most is that i can only have the perspective of of things that you know that interest me but you have to think beyond that and to me actually the sign of someone who is very good at, you know, serving on a board is they put the interest of all of the people that they represent in mind. They don't think about, you know, for me, I'm just a tinkerer and web developer. So like, I'm going to, of course, want all the web development, you know, interests and things like that. But I'm, I'm also an advocate in the community. So now like, I've already got my lens. I think if you can find people that hit your lens in some way, then that's great. But also make sure that you're selecting people that cover your blind spots as well. Because I've, I've been in positions before where I feel like everybody was getting attention or everybody was getting helped. And I was like, well, what about me? What about this, this little, this island of misfit toys that doesn't get that, that doesn't ever get addressed. And like, I, I think that the more spread out the concerns are, then the more well-rounded and the, the more covered um, these, you know, the concerns of the greater community will be. And uh, we also have a, a good example. Um, uh, there's a blog post that explains what DSF board members do. Thank you, Kojo. Uh, so yeah, if you're curious of, of the work, uh, you know, what are they going to be doing in this role? Um, if someone is running for treasurer, do they have experience you know, as a treasurer, not necessarily required, but sometimes that's good. If, if you have someone that's like, hey, I've served as a treasurer for successful nonprofits or other organizations, we talk about this all the time. We're like, you know, the PSF is hiring an events coordinator. I don't think the thing on the resume that makes someone the most qualified is how long they've been doing Python things. Um, it's like, 
do you have experience in like planning events? Um, I think when you're on the board serving the community, regardless of how, you know, there is, I guess there is something to say about like their overall experience in the community or their overall time in the community, but also do they have like special skill sets that might make them a good candidate to serve as, you know, a board president or a board vice president or secretary? Um, you know, it, it's again, there's more to think about than like, I've seen this person give a talk on Django admin. So like, therefore they, they would be a great president. Like, I don't, I don't think the two are necessarily related. Well, so there's, there's that aspect of it. And also, I mean, this is less common, but there, there are, um, right. I, I've, I've seen people run for positions, uh, in, in other circumstances where, um, right their their goals are just not in line with what what a board aims to be um and and so you know you want to uh vote with uh with with that context as well um and i'm not saying that that is anyone in this uh th this group of candidates um by any means uh but it's another reason why uh uh, you know why I say go go and read every one of those statements because, um, you know, just because you recognize uh, uh, someone's name doesn't mean that uh, right they're they're uh, putting right the same kind of uh, emphasis on on areas that that you want to see the board work toward um right and uh right what the board does today may be different from what the board does next year um but ultimately that's going to be a, a product of these elections and uh you know th these things will change over time um and and if you you know if you're particularly uh passionate about um you know types of uh of of actions that that the board does like um you know they they uh uh they they give out um i'm blanking on the name for this uh they, they have a an award um that they um a prize that is it uh the the malcolm uh trednick prize uh, that they that they award every year, right? If you if you're particularly passionate about right wanting to see, um, for example, more uh, more eff emphasis put on you know that kind of like recognizing individuals within the community, right? This is this is your chance to find right who is who's actually doing um, this this sort of work and 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 pushing for it. Um, and I said this about the Python Software Foundation when the elections uh, were were happening earlier this year. I'm gonna say it about uh, the the DSF as well, right? Everybody on this list is is already uh, contributing to the community, right? And you know, ninety nine percent of the time, uh, regardless of the the results of this election, they're going to continue doing that. Right. The, the, these these people are not volunteering their time and energy uh, uh, to to boards like these um, because they're not already deeply invested in in a community. Uh, they they know, also they... don't get paid, <laughs> so like there's there isn't sure. there isn't a financial benefit. So the people that are doing this, you know, don't. I wouldn't my I wouldn't assume that like, you know. For much of them, I, I think there was one in there that even said like, hey, you know, you know, disclosure, I work for this company. It's my job to, you know, care about the Django community. If I'm not elected, I still have to care about the Django community. Like, <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, that's that's what I'm getting at is, uh, you know, these are not uh, these are not elections that are that are going to be attracting a bunch of candidates who are just looking for a title right um the, the these are people who are 
a lot of the time already doing the same kind of work they want to continue doing um, and are looking to further leverage what they what they can in the community here. 